Hi guys, it's um, Colin Dunn from www.cdonant.com. Um, I'm a writer of horror and supernatural thrillers. Feel free to log on to the website, and check a few things out. Today I'm going to be talking about Sony Vegas and very really briefly how to kind of resize an image, not a video, but an image within Sony Vegas. So I've loaded up Sony Vegas, have an image just for an example. Um, and this is to remove black bars, okay, black bars on your image. Now what I used to do is simply to right click it, go to switches, go to maintain aspect ratio and job done. Okay, so let's undo that. You can also do this, the same method by right clicking and going to properties and you will see that maintain aspect ratio is also there. Again, right click that, job done. Except it's not really, because what it's doing is it's stretching the image. It's not actually resizing it to maintain that height to width ratio. It's simply kind of sort of stretching that image. So what we'll do is it will undo undo that for the time being so we can see uh, the black bars are still still there. So ideally what we need to do is to kind of resize it, to move the black bars to maintain the height and width aspect ratio. So the best option to use is to use this option here, which is track motion. As it states here, normally use to animate video tracks, but we can use it for images. So click on that. Uh, simply go to the, the screen here. Let me resize this, bring this in a little bit. Go to the screen here and drag on a corner and resize it. Now you can see that on the left, you see the height and the width are changing in ratio to that. So you resize it until the black bars are gone. Now you can see his head's topped off. What we do is that we drag it and just bring it down just a fraction, okay? And that is the best way to actually resize to get rid of the black bars. It keeps him in proportion. By doing it the other way, let's remove that. Okay, so that's the way it should be done. So let's just change that. Okay, by, by doing it the other way, what it's doing is that it's stretching him. Okay, so it's stretching him and basically putting him out of proportion. Now, it's sometimes barely noticeable. Okay, depending on what kind of sort of black bars you have and the, the thickness of those bars. Sometimes it's barely noticeable to do that and it w it's not actually any harm to do that. Other times it is. All I'm saying is don't get in the habit of always using that option because essentially what you are doing is distorting the image and not resizing it. So if you have minimal black bars and it's not going to have an effect, then fine, do that. But if you, if you can see a clear distortion, then the best way to do it is to use that option there of track motion and that's it um, have any questions feel free to um, to ask me drop me a line thank you very much for listening bye bye